So the CPRA is really just a modification of CCPA. So the fundamental obligations from CCPA did not disappear with CPRA. So data, uh, data deletion and access request rights for users as well as opt-out rights are still there. Uh, but what it does is it builds on the fundamentals of CCPA and expands these consumer rights and adds business obligations that were not previously there. So for example, uh, cross-contextual advertising or behavioral advertising, uh, which was not explicitly labeled as a sharing or sale of data is now uh, under that category, which means it's subject to opt-out. And uh, another point is that uh, sensitive information, which was not really its own classification previously, is now uh, subject to uh, limitation of use by businesses if a user makes that request. And there's also some GDPR type of principles that have been added in there. So there's data minimization, as well as the right for users to correct their information if it's inaccurate. And in terms of data minimization, that's really going towards uh, retaining data only for as long as you actually need it. And then uh, for use purposes, only using the data for the purpose that it's actually uh, intended to be used when it's represented to the user in a notice or a disclosure. So what do you think this will mean for marketers and uh, what, how are they preparing and how do you think uh, you know, this will play out uh, from a business use case? Uh, yeah, so in, in terms of a business use case, what it really means is you have to prepare early uh, because part of what you have to do is look at your data and examining your data as you know anybody that's gone through data flows and data assessments knows is a pretty time consuming process. Uh, for those who haven't already done this in preparation for GDPR, they'll have to look at their sensitive personal information and compare that and separate that out from their non-sensitive personal information. That way, when there's a sensitive personal information uh, data use limitation request, they're able to actually stop the use of sensitive information. And then, you know, similarly, they'll have to look at the data flow of uh, related to their cross-contextual advertising or behavioral advertising, because now that that is explicitly required to be honored by opt-out, uh, businesses need to know where the data is flowing so they can prevent the flow of that data when there's an actual opt-out request. So those are some of the key changes. And there's a lot of complexity between the states and more states are sort of legislating uh, regulations. Um, what's happening, you know, just generally speaking with the states, their initiatives and the potential for the federal government to be involved? Yes, so <laughs> uh, actually it's funny you say that because recently, uh, I think just this week, maybe yesterday, uh, the Virginia uh, data privacy law just passed um, and it's gonna be effective on the same date as CPRA, January 1st, 2023. So that's gonna be a big day for anyone preparing to comply with data privacy laws and regulations. Um, and the Virginia law is pretty similar to CCP in some aspects, but it also pulls from GDPR. And we're also seeing different laws uh, potentially being contemplated uh, in Washington and New York um, and many other states as well. So the, the, the obviously for people who are trying to comply with these state privacy laws because of all the differences um, and little nuances between the state laws, people are kind of hoping for a federal law um, that's not too restrictive, but gives sort of one set of rules uh, to comply with. Now, whether there's actually gonna be a federal law, uh, many people think that because of the new administration that that is a pretty high possibility, but it's definitely an unknown still at this point. So tell us about Deep Intent and uh, what you folks are doing in terms of preparing. Uh, you know, there's always been a big emphasis on privacy around healthcare, we know, uh, but there are a lot of new concerns. What is What are sort of the, um, you know, services, advice uh, that, that you're providing? 
Sure. Yeah. So we're we're always looking to make changes and update our services in anticipation of privacy law changes and industry changes that are going on. So you know, in anticipation of a potential cookieless world, um, as well as uh, you know more sensitivity to use of sensitive information. So one thing we are actually already doing is in our direct to consumer side, we are able to uh, do targeting without the use of personally identifiable information and without the use uh, explicitly of healthcare data. So instead of using that data explicitly, we're able to use de-identified versions of data and build predictive models and do targeting in a pretty accurate, precise way while maintaining user privacy. And finally, you know, what do you suggest or what are some tips that you have for marketers and how to manage their privacy, their policies, um, uh, you know, with anticipation of these regulations coming into place and, and new ones coming up, what do you advise? Yeah, so because of all the differences and different privacy laws, um, businesses really have to assume that there's not going to be a federal law moving forward. Because even if there were a federal law, especially for international working businesses, you're going to have all these different other international laws that you have to build off of and uh, comply with. So my, my recommendation, you know, for, for Deep and 10, as well as other businesses like Deep and 10 and marketers out there is really to build its privacy compliance framework off of one law, uh, for example, CCPA or GDPR, since those are sort of the initiators, um, and go from there. If you have this baseline to start with and then make tweaks based on the different laws, you'll probably have an easier time since as we see with the Virginia law, for example, it does pull from CCPA and GDPR principles. So there is gonna be some overlap. You know, A lot of the legislators are looking at pre-existing laws as a guidepost for at least a starting point for their laws.